What year did you move to Topeka? Well, I was born in Topeka. You were born in Topeka. And left when I was uh, almost 16 and came back in uh, 1971. Uh, well, I came back to work at the Menninger Clinic. Tell me a little bit about how you and Claire got involved in supporting the library. My, my father uh, read a lot and had a lot of books in our quote, library at home. Uh, and uh, uh, so I, I kind of picked up that habit, and he read he read to us uh, at times, but he'd read his Fickle Huckleberry Finn or something like that. Once he tried to read Thackeray's uh, Vanity Fair, and we all fell asleep, and that one didn't work on us kids. Do you have a memory of sort of your first involvement in supporting the library? Let me go back one step. The, uh, as you could tell, uh, I became a bookworm at an early age, and uh, uh, there at that time the library consisted of a, of a small but very fine building on the state house grounds, and up on the third floor of that, uh, presided by very quaint, quiet old ladies, uh, there was a periodical room, and so uh, you could go up there and. and ask if about something and they'd find you articles about it, you know. It was very quiet, very peaceful. And then when we came back to Topeka, of course that was before the 2000 uh, re-ramping of the library, I would go to the library and it was a very busy, crowded place even at that time. And uh, Claire and I were interested in the library. One of the first things we supported was they had a they had a dealie where they wanted to uh, buy some computers that would be suitable for children to use to learn on. Nowadays they're probably more suitable for adults. The kids learn it all when they're three years old. But uh, we thought that was a good deal to help help the uh, help kids get onto computers at, at that time. Uh, so we we and then then when the when the rebuilding of the library came in 2000, we were very active in that, and uh, they asked us what we wanted to uh, name, and uh, we thought, well, the, uh, the cafe is a nice place to live, so what are we going to call it? And Claire thought up the name of the, well, the Millennium Cafe since it was in 2000. In regard to the gift that Nancy's been talking with you about uh -huh. um, for the last couple months, Tell me about what she shared with you about the master's facility plan in general that spoke to you that you wanted to be a part of that. When, of course, they, when they won this wonderful prize, you know, it's, it's like KU winning the double finals or something. I mean, it's for really, library of the year. The, the, the uh -huh. finals at least come once a year. This is, <laughs> so, I, I, so I was very excited with the idea that they, they didn't just sit down on their laurels, which were great and fantastic, but we used it as a stimulus to do more things. But it, it, it seemed to me that, it, that focusing on another aspect of the cafe, which has been very successful, a lot of people like to come there, whether they're going to the library or not, just to, because it's a nice place to eat. And, and uh, so this was, this was, again, adds something to what, what, we, what they would learn from coming to the, to the cafe. And uh, and the 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 Gina and the others showed an interest in how how art and and with Claire's art having a role in this could be a part of what people would want to learn about and know about and enjoy and appreciate uh, in the library. What are you hoping that people know about you and Claire and your support of the library when they when they visit the things that you've touched in the library? Well, I'm, you know, it's, it's an honor and a, and a pleasure to be recognized, uh, but uh, you know, matter what name you place, place on the door, the question is what you find out when you open the door, you know, so uh, it's nice, but the real question is, will it be used by people who need it as a, and enjoy it as a place to have something to eat, to see something interesting about the art that's coming by, 
uh, and uh, enjoy themselves in it.